Hello and welcome to Cruising with Kenyo. Hello and welcome to Cruising with Kenyo. What's up, guys? It's Kenyo, and welcome to this episode of Cruising with Kenyo. We'll be right back after this sponsored segment. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we are cruising. And uh, today I want to talk about something that is highly inspirational to me. And I think is the main inspiration for why I focus and um, go so deeply into art and um, everything else. Business, science. And I think it's the ability to connect um, with people. You know, like if you like communication or something strikes you at a certain point and you're just like, I'd like getting ideas across to people. I like being heard. I like being impactful. You know, like you you feel what it feels like and you're like, oh, I want to keep doing this. You know, because it's not always about being heard. It's not always about vocalizing. Sometimes it's just about being able to really help a team saying, you know what? I know I helped this. I helped this group, I, or I helped this team. That really um, charges me up. You know, it's like, all right, cool. I'm glad I was able to do this. You know, I'm glad I was able to, you know, be the positive um, factor in this situation. You know, thank God that I got to be, you know, the positive, the positive ingredient. Um, in what was cooked up, you know, um, so yes, I think, I think that's inspirational, and especially, um, see, I I don't take too much credit, I don't let a lot of this, I don't take too much credit, I'll say that, um, because I know that it's, one, it comes from, you know, when the fact that I like it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be looking for the moments to create it. So I like how it feels. So I'm the one who looks for moments to create it. But more than that, it's already there. You know, it's just a possibility. It's not. It's not hard for someone. It's not hard for us as human beings changing someone's life. You know, you give someone a dollar on the street corner. You 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 write an honest poem. Both of those things to me are very similar. It's just about whether or not you care to just take the time to, you know, take the opportunity, because it's an opportunity, it's a very, it's a very mathematical opportunity, if you give someone a dollar who has zero dollars, you've given them an infinity amount of money, because there's no other mathematical way to calculate, you know, the, the percentage increase from zero to one. You know, or even if they have three dollars, you give them a dollar. You've, you've, you've taken them to a hole. You've increased their, um, their revenue by a quarter or a third. Okay, I'm not doing good math on that one. But anyway, um, that's huge. If you give someone with thirty thousand dollars a dollar, you're increasing their, you know, their whatever by point zero zero, whatever percent. It's much less interesting. That's why you don't give your friends dollars. Because it's like you have... So you're about to get paid. In fact, I haven't even seen your paycheck. Your paycheck might be more than mine. So if there's going to be dollar exchanges, maybe flow... Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. But either way, I'm, there's not going to be any dollar flowage. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so... The, the thing is, we can change people's lives... And that is so cool. I love that. That's the most inspirational thing to me, I think, other than than anything else. Changing somebody's life? Are you kidding me? Um, you know? And I'm thankful, you know, I've had a few people say it, you know, to me. Like, oh, you've changed my life. And the, the good thing about that is you get to hear it, and then you're like, okay, cool. Um, and, you know, the thing is... I'm, to, to be straightforward, you know, like, because it's, like, a hobby of mine, you know, being, you know, like, attempting to be positive and, and looking for ways, you know, that God can use me or whatever, 
I'm not surprised when someone says you changed my life. Like, usually, you know, you can see the opportunity coming if, you know, if that's something that you like doing and you're like, oh, right? Like, we all do it, I think, in different ways. Um, I feel like women do that almost just nonstop. It's like number one mode, change lives. No, we're changing some lives today. Um, but we, we all do it and we look for the opportunity. Even in conversations when you can tell, oh, you know what, maybe I can say something that will help this person out. So when they finally do say, oh, you changed my life, I think what made it significant for me in the different ways that I've heard it is, like, what changes someone's life? Like, if you can write a poem that changes someone's life, I don't think I've ever had anyone say that, one of my poems, you know. Uh, Well, I have, but not... I think (laughs) this is, like, the snobbery of it. You know, I've never had anyone at a show. Like, the ideal what you're going for as a poet, because you're like, all right, if I'm going to be a poet, i got to write stuff that can do us. If you go to a dentist, there's no way you're going to wonder, hey, did this dentist change my life? He changed the life. You were going to die. He changed your life. As a poet, you want the same satisfaction. You don't want someone coming and be like, okay, did he do a good, did I get a good poetry thing? No. If I read you a poem, I want you to be like, oh my gosh, I've been changed. I was going to have bad health, but now positive health is in my future because I coincided with this poem at this time. That's what a poet wants. That's what an artist wants. And um, that's what a scientist wants. That's what I think you want, that change. And that's really what you're getting paid for, too. You get paid for the amount of change you can apply to someone's life. So that's the motivation. That's the biggest thing. What could ever be more inspirational than knowing that you have the ability, that you have a a way, a methodology, that there's an arena, there's a field of study that you can enter into um, that will allow you to change somebody's life. I like it. I love it, actually. So, that's all I wanted to talk about. I think that's, that's fun. I think maybe the... Someone listening, you know, for you, it might be like, oh, you know, that's how I'm going to find what I can, you know, spend 5% of my time on that'll make me a little bit happier. This thing that I do that I know has this thing, ability to change someone's life. I think that's where most businesses get started in general. It's like, oh, I can create a fitness system that can literally, what? Oh, I can, like, deliver food to people. I can create food, I can cook food for people, and they'll, like, they, it's better than, like, one of their alternatives? That's huge! I can fix people's teeth, I can, I can fix people's ears, I can get the stress out their backs, I can create metal fixtures for their airplanes, I don't know, they, there's lots of different careers out there, but it's all about, you know, changing someone's life, and I think we all look for that satisfaction. And there's nothing better than being so good at what you do that somebody cries. I think that's why, no matter what happens, there's always going to be competition in the world. Because there's always going to be someone who goes above and beyond because they're attempting to surprise somebody else with excellence. They're attempting to change somebody's life. Um, And I think it's important for people to follow that passion inside of them no matter what. I'm thinking about it right now, and I'm like, you know, if that was a driving passion for people, and if they can not let go of that no matter what, then that'll be great. But then, you know what, the problem is it's kind of a trap, because then people are going to be like, oh, I want to change lives. You know, what's the greatest opportunity to change lives? I can change, you know, 100,000 lives in in a third world country for, you know, $3,000. Let me donate my money. And then, there's nothing wrong with that, but um, there's just there's people who you spend 80% of your time with that you could do a 15% shift to their lives. And that's just about shifting, you know, the way that we move. Remembering to make that call, you know. And I think um, loyalty and, and friendship, another hard balance. How do you get? How do you get those? How do you get those balances? Um, you know, I think I just had an idea. I was thinking about 
you know, I don't know if I had this thought before, if it just came to me now, but uh, why do we do, like, board games, you know, especially, we do a lot of things that are, quote-unquote, you know, controversial, or scary, or do some kind of shock, or put us on the spot, put us on the edge, I remember being nervous about things like board games, because I didn't understand, um, not board games, but like party games, it was just like weird to me, I was like, um, but I didn't realize that the weirdness was intentional, and if you don't take yourself too seriously, it allows people to see versions of each other in the room that otherwise we would hide, but these games, these, 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 I, these, um, these programs, I don't know what you want to call them, these, um, these activities allow for uh, your, you to be pushed to the edge in, in a variety, variety of ways, whether it's horror movies, or, um, a lot of different things, roller coasters, as far as taking a part of these things in groups, they allow you to see angles of, um, of yourself and your personality that otherwise might not have been accessible to you. Um, so what I realized though, is that, you know, that novelty of experience of the other person is a big piece of that. Um, anyway, anyway, you guys, um, I, I really wanted to talk more about the first thing, so I'm not going to let myself just go on and on, but if you like anything else saying, hit me up. Actually, I didn't say that enough, but definitely I want you guys to, to hit me up, you know, I am, um, an artist, an author, an entrepreneur, um, if you go to my website, kenyo.org, you can see a lot of the, the things that I do personally, and then if you go to my business project forward, you can see the things that I do collectively. Um, and then uh, if you go to lighteaton.com, you can see all the things that I do that you can collect, which is products and, and the like. Um, paintings, poetry, um, services that me or one of my businesses um, provide. So there's a whole smorgasbord of things that I do, and it's all about being able to connect with um, people and, you know, in the areas that I can um, help out and do something and make a change, hopefully to somebody's life. That would be the best. So I'd love to get an email from you. Hit me up, kinyo at projectforward.com. T B, um, or you know, DM me on a social media, or share this share this podcast and tag me in that. That'll be really cool. I like that. Um, either way, you know, um, I look forward. I know I'm going to start reaching more people because um, I'm now sharing the podcast not only on every single podcast app. Um, and I'm putting out podcasts more regularly, but I'm also uploading them to YouTube, Facebook. Um, I'm going to have my LinkedIn page going pretty soon here. Soon I'm going to have clips of this podcast on TikTok and other stuff like that. So I know I'm going to be reaching more people. And um, one thing I love is getting feedback. Man, I love feedback. Actually, you know, I get feedback and then sometimes I'm like, yo, but you need to sit down. Sit the freak down and reply. Um, because I, I do a pretty good job of replying to most of them, but I have one particularly long email where it's just amazing, you know. I just got to, I have to say thank you to this, you know, this person for pouring their heart out and letting me know. They came across some of my work at a very specific, um, angle, you know, and they, and it is so, it was so impactful to them at a life-changing moment. And, you know, them sharing that with me gives me a perspective on what I'm doing. And so I haven't had the time to reply, and I'm like, are you kidding me? You just got your favorite thing in the world, and you're not going to take time to reply. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do that, and every single email that comes in, um, you can be sure that I'm only going to have more and more time to reply to those, because it's not about the emails, it's about the people, and um, and being able to connect is a privilege that I don't think should be wasted Um 
And, um, yeah, I look forward to it. And I look forward also to, you know, developing even... Because I'm just thinking about... I want to say this, you know, because... It's not all about, you know, this stuff. I think the way in which we get better at being outwardly is working on the inside. And that's my life's goal. I have things that I need to work on inside of myself. I need to get better than I was before. Um, And I need to be having more fun. I need to be more fulfilled. I need to feel more abundant. And if those things aren't happening, I need to look at myself. I need to talk with myself. I need to um, figure myself out. And not just figure myself out, but put myself out there. Talk to other people about the things that I'm thinking about. And um, there's no faster way of doing that than really just getting involved. And that's what it's about for me. It's like, hey, we got time here on this planet. Let's go fast. Let me hit. Let me, let me, let me hit. Let me hit. Let me go around. Let me talk. Let's chat. Let's figure this thing out together. We're here. You guys, together. We're here. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. All right. Um, I've been parked for a while, so this is officially, like, half cruising with Kenyo, half chilling with Kenyo. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out here, because I've got things to do. Got moves to make. I got moves, and you know what, I'm actually late. I was supposed to be in here 18 minutes ago, so I'll see you guys later.